all right it's me again 24 back at it again with another YouTube video remember to like comment favorite and subscribe and uh, so that way you can be a part of the conversation as well so that way I can know what you guys are thinking as well on these videos so I'm gonna be talking about Mafia 3 today and what I think of the gameplay and what's shown at both E3 and Gamescom so I think the first part about it is Lincoln Lincoln looks like a fantastic uh, protagonist in these games in Mafia 3 it's not necessarily GTA it's not necessarily GTA focused where it's like alright you can do anything and everything that you wanted but it's more along the lines that you can do anything and everything that you wanted within this criminal system you are a criminal act like it there's no tennis there's no volleyball there's no uh, what was it there's no boat sailing or marathon running or whatever it's like you're a criminal act like it <clears throat> sorry act like a criminal so Lincoln as a protagonist, his backstory, uh, him being a Vietnam veteran, and him uh, coming back and rejoining his mafia is fantastic. I won't try and I'll try not to spoil a lot of the gameplay and elements of it for you, just in case if you're going into this fresh. But just know, like a lot of really good stuff happens in the first couple of minutes of the game that I would kind of expect at the end or the middle of the game. But it just, it seems like a fantastic character. Like, Lincoln seems pretty solid. I also like the city of New Bordeaux. It seems like it has a lot of substance to it. Uh, and and uh, in Empire State, I think, or Empire Bay, was it, Empire? it was one of the two. In that city, it had a, it had substance to it. But it, it was created, like, New, uh, Mafia 3 was created, like, six or seven years ago. So they didn't really have, like, the technology to really, like, show what the city could possibly be. I mean, in New Bordeaux, it, it has a bayou, it has a downtown, it has uh, it has a, a kind of, like, countryside where the right supremacists are. It has all of these really cool areas in the city that I don't think uh, Empire State or Empire Bay really had. And the best thing is, is that all of these parts of the city really interact with each other or interact with Lincoln in a different way. You know, but for instance, if you go to the white supremacist area or the neighborhood, you may, you know, you may get, you may get hostile uh, reactions from the populace. You may get, you know, a brick thrown at you. You may get chased down like, you know, by an angry mob, you know. And it seems interesting that that's something uh, that's something that I've always wanted in a video game. Assassin's Creed Unity was going to, like, it looked like it was going to do something like that, but New Bordeaux actually looks like a city that responds in turn to Lincoln, to Lincoln and it responds in turn to his criminal organization as well, positively sometimes and negatively sometimes. Mm -hmm. Seems like a city that is worth exploring and it's worth doing and it's worth putting in the time and effort to really learning that city. The second thing that's really cool is that again, I'm going to try not to spoil it, but it's but just know that you're going to try and retake the city. I won't spoil why, but just you're going to retake the city, right? Now, retaking the city looks fantastic. It starts it starts out there were uh, there were some E3 trailers where it was like, okay, it was as simple as killing people. That's killing like the the ringleader of an organization or of drugs or like a hooker or, or a hooker bar or whatever and then after you retake it you now have control of that industry in this certain aspect of the city so once you have taken over it you can assign people to it and they can manipulate they can uh, manipulate it they can uh, they can re they can uh, produce either drugs or women or whatever and they could distribute it across that specific part of the city, which is fantastic, by the way. I think that's a great mechanic, gameplay-wise. And just the ways that you're doing it, it's not just killing, it's also robbing people, uh, so that way their funds just come out of them like a, uh, like someone just pulls a rug right out under your feet. And also, uh, it's just as simply put, taking over their business. It's, uh, it's just wiping out a bunch of people and, and uh, just taking the facilities for yourself. Oh, so the cars look fantastic. The uh, I think one of the best things about Mafia 2 is that it had a really good appreciation for the cars back then. And I remember I had like some DLC for Mafia 2, and I got all these free cars for it. And I upgraded this car to have like a supercharger, and it was just fantastic. I, I was so... 
I was so in love with that car in the game that I didn't take it out of my garage like ever. And it, it was just so cool to see this respect to all of these cars in that time frame and to see it kind of transfer over to Mafia 3 is very exciting to see, you know, like what cars I can steal. What, like Lincoln's car looks fantastic, by the way, but it's all of these other cars that just look great as well. So gunplay uh, looks looks decent enough, I think. Uh, I think really the main part of the game is going to be like the story and the cars and all of these other aspects, but the gunplay looks fantastic. You have a stealth type of system because he is a Vietnam veteran. He can, you know, he can do all of these combat moves, which by the way makes a lot of sense that he can just kill a bunch of people because he's, you know, from Vietnam. But uh, he can also go into scenarios very stealthily and he can approach them from different angles that really evolve the gameplay into a f into a gameplay where you have a lot of free will, where you can do whatever you want, where you can explore all of these different options that make the game a lot more interesting for you. But, but uh, the actual mechanics of the, of the gunplay seems kind of like the same thing. It's not, it's not really nothing to talk about. I will say this, one of the cool things about the game's guns as a whole is that you can get them from like a... Uh, from like a, a, uh, a distribution van where you have like a guy just selling arms out of the back of his van. I do think that aspect is actually really cool. And you also have these different factions that are like, all right, you can, you can, uh, you can recruit these guys or you can pay uh, this one specific character in the game to have him send guys to you and they'll act like backup and they'll just uh and they'll kill a bunch of people and they'll you know either attract attention or back you up and it's just really cool it's one of the better gameplay mechanics i think that's really a gang a gang game needed in mafia 3 so that looks fantastic um i i kind of want to see how the different locations will work with Lincoln, like if he retakes uh, one facility or one uh, one section of the city, how exactly will Lincoln respond to it? Like, uh, since he's retaking the city, will it impact him more, or will it just be like, eh, I got the city, I don't care, doesn't matter to me. That's something that I also want to see interest. Uh, that's what I also want to see in the gameplay, or not in the gameplay. Mostly, it's like in the story, but. It, it seems pretty solid of a game, and it's coming out October 7th or 9th or something like that. And I obviously can't get it. I'm in college right now. So it, uh, it seems like a pretty, pretty solid game. And for the one person that's watching and the multitudes of other people that are watching, I hope to see you all next time. Please remember, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe so that way I can... Uh, know what you guys are thinking and so that way you can also be a part of the conversation. Alright.